scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? Stay with us on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome from the English West Midlands. We find ourselves at Molyneux. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent. Surely, there it is, and just the ideal start. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So City get things going again, and the onus is on them to erase the damage done by that concession. Well, we can say it officially now. We'll be watching the champions today. The title secured in the last match. What a terrific position to be in, Stuart. Well, they can certainly enjoy this one, Derek. What a great season they've had. They've been the best team in the league. No doubt about that for me. Will he find the net? Touched onto the woodwork. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this may just be the impetus they need as they certainly haven't been at their best today Mares and crossing towards the far post and a bit short with the clearance well he was dreaming of scoring but ruled offside well it all happened very quickly so I wouldn't criticise him too much at least he was in there Not a good pass. Well, the focus on the back pages coming into today's game was very much on Joao Moutinho, and the reports have been confirmed. He will, in fact, end his career at the end of the season. No two ways about it, Stuart. A big loss for the club. Yes, it really is. Obviously, he's going to be missed here. Very much a key player in the dressing room. No doubt they'll be looking to the transfer window to strengthen now. And Wolves have possession again. Encouraging from the Wolves' point of view. Oh, that's a really good run. And a very good challenge. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they take advantage of the situation? Grealish, the options at the back post here. Just wanted to get it out of there. Oh, a vital interception. Disappointing for Wolves to give it away like that. Gundogan. Delightful pass. And nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Gundogan. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. This could square the game. It's opening up for them. Gundogan. Here's De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Alvarez. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Magnificent defending. 
Well, as you can see, Wolves are seeing much less of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Well, he needed to read it to get there, and did. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Gundogan. Here's Alvarez. Gundogan. An alert intervention. Morgan Gibbs White. Rosano Gaddish. Well read to put an end to that attack. Alvarez. Phillips. Really getting stuck in. There's a slide draw pass. Oh, but there's defensive diligence for you when things look dangerous. And the advantage is with City. Phillips. Possession and patience, the watchwords. But just like that, possession changes hands. And intercepts again. Phillips. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. A real opening now. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, he hasn't really been able to bring his influence to bear on the game, Riyad Mahrez. And that, Stuart, is a bit of a surprise when you think about it. Well, the touch map tells us everything. He just hasn't been able to get on the ball in dangerous positions. Yes, he's been well marked. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Gundogan. Alvarez. De Bruyne. And continues his run. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Alvarez. And options in the centre. Mares. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. On and on he goes. Perfectly fair tackle, and it will be a corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? And over comes the corner. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. De Bruyne. Riyad Mahrez. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention and goal. Oh, hang on, Stuart, big chance here. And the challenge, crisp and clean. 
And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Wolves taking on Brighton. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. He's in with a chance. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. And the ball with De Bruyne, and he's making progress. De Bruyne. Here's Alvarez. And will it be Gundogan? And it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion, and looking very comfortable here. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Now the excitement guaranteed here on EA TV Live, the Champions League semi-final second leg. It's Manchester City versus Paris Saint-Germain. Well, that has the makings of an absolute classic between two very good teams desperate for a cup final appearance. I can't wait for that one. That's a nice-looking ball. Well, not quite the header he had in mind. And the goalkeeper gobbling that one up. Alvarez now let's see what they can do here well, they might be onto something Yukai Gunduan's in behind a goal they're absolutely racing away with this three to the good now well here it is again the through ball is absolutely inch perfect and when he gets onto it he decides to go for power it's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Pedro Porro now with Silva the pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass can Lucy Davis that's Lucy Davis please come to reception Adama Now, what can they do from here? Danny Olmo. And a chance to whip it in here. Morgan Gibbs-White. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Really getting stuck in. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Gundogan. It's a perfect challenge. Well, as we get close to hearing the final whistle, Manchester City dominant. Manchester City excellent. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. 
Not many teams would have stopped them today. Crossing possibilities. And possibilities here. Now delivering that deep cross. Oh, didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Silva. Here's Alvarez. It's a weighted pass. Defended well. Grealish. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. And Gomez... Pumps clear. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Morgan Gibbs White. And so the referee blows the whistle. It is the end of the contest. And the three points go to Manchester City. Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. As a footballer, you can never be quite sure how it's all going to unfold. But suffice it to say, it unfolded positively for Gundogan. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good decision.